brand new video you'll see only on WPBF 25 News of a man police say is preying on young girls, targeting them for their socks. Now, officers are asking for other victims to come forward. As Whitney Burbank explains, this is not the first time this former Jensen Beach High School employee has been accused of strange behavior. Port St. Lucie police say a young girl was heading back from cheerleading practice here with her socks in her hands when a man approached her and asked her to hand them over. Port St. Lucie police say that man is Robert Van Wagner. Watch this exclusive surveillance video. Police say Van Wagner begs and pleads for the socks until he corners the young girl. He actually forcibly took the socks from her and, and left the scene. He tells her he needs the socks for a project. Police say Van Wagner's tried this excuse before. And we were able to identify this individual from a prior case that we had in, back in 2012 that took place right here in, in Sportsman's Park. He said the same thing to three adolescent girls two years ago. Van Wagner allegedly asked them to try on socks he brought for them. Well, it's a fetish. Same place, same sock fixation. But police say something's changed. This is an escalation of his fetish. And it's going to get, it's going to continually get worse unless he seeks help. Van Wagner is banned for life, but this park is still packed with kids. Keep eye, keep a lookout for some guy who might be looking for some socks. And this camp counselor isn't taking any chances. I'm actually going to tell my boss now. Hoping this sock snatcher won't strike again. Port St. Lucie police say that Van Wagner's bonded out of jail, and they're asking anyone who may have had similar contact with the man to come forward. In Port St. Lucie, Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News.